My name's Heather. I am a mother of three young children. I have a daughter. She is six years old. I have a son who has just turned three, and I have a baby who's going to be one next month. Um, I'm 26 years old. Um, I came into this El Dorado County area about almost two years ago. Um, so, growing up, I was raised by my father. My mom was distant due to her drug addiction, and you know, schooling and coming up as a young girl with just brothers and my dad was really confusing and wanting my mom to be around was emotionally just draining, confusing, just like, so I used, I ended up using a lot and drinking to cover up the way I felt. Um, you know, then there wasn't much of knowing who I am and what my worth is. Um, I ended up getting in a abusive relationship and actually one after another. Um, I guess really I just struggled with my worth and that was really what it was. Um, so in me not knowing who I was, I left it to a man to tell me who I, who I needed to be and what I should be. And that led to uh, me being, you know, brainwashed into prostitution and um, where my drug addiction and, um, you know, I isolated myself from my family because I wasn't proud of who I was, and so I had to, to use and to stay distant to keep up what I was doing. Um, and then it came to a point where I was lost and I didn't have anybody in my life besides the man who was abusive to me. And, you know, um, I ended up getting my kids taken away and placed into foster care. And, you know, as much as that is a sad thing and people's heart probably sink in that moment, um, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I was able to get out of the relationship I was in. My kids were able to heal while I was fixing myself. Um, I've met some really amazing people in my life. When I got connected to Green Valley Church, um, you know, I found the grace of God and realized what I did in my past or who I was in my past or what I did or what I was still doing or what my mind was on then, it was okay because God loved me and he forgave me and it was okay. Um, you know, it took a while for my family to come back around, but, you know, just knowing that God's love for me was unconditional and that I didn't have to hold on to my past anymore, it helped me gain the confidence and self-worth to get to where I am now. Um, I do have full custody of my kids again, and, you know, um, I've created a whole different life, new morals, just a whole new way of living for me and my kids, and I know that we're very happy today. I've I've grown a good relationship with God. My daughter has a good relationship with God. You know, my son at three years old is wanting to know God and he's trying to learn and he acts like he knows it all, but it's getting it's getting better, you know? And, um, you know, life's really good. We, we go to sleep every night knowing that we're safe and that, um, you know, whatever the next day has ahead of us, that God's gonna take care of us and that we're together and we're happy and we're safe and that's all that matters, you know? Um, so, you know, I'm happy to be a mom. I mean, obviously there's stresses. I have three kids. I don't get much sleep, you know, uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud to be a, a mom and I'm proud to be a mom of my kids. And, you know, we struggle. My daughter's six, so I brought her through quite a bit of of um, unhealthy lifestyles. And so, but we work on it every day. and. We do our therapy and we stay in relationship with God and we pray and so everything is just getting so much better. Life's good. Mm -hmm.